Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Seth, with Good Time MPV, and today I have my dirt jumper with me. So, so the dirt jumper I had acquired from a good buddy of mine named Isaac. So, if you're watching, thank you. Um, this is actually my second time owning this bike. I actually sold it to a good friend of mine who actually fixed it up with the new wheel set, the Octane One wheel set, which I'll get into. And unfortunately had an accident where he can't really ride it anymore so i messaged him kind of wanting it back so i can kind of to get used to jumping on steep lips as you can see in some of these skate parks they have a couple of steep up to the top um, so i kind of want to work on that a little bit and also jump more since i don't have a whole lot of jump parks or jump lines and stuff near me so this is kind of my jump jump line so to speak so i acquired the dirt jumper it's very very budget friendly very basic just got the parts on it that you need um let's just start let's just start up here at the front so yes i have a rockshock tora 318 trail fork which is adjustable between 180 and 120 millimeters of travel right now it's at 120 um up here we're running a shimano i can't really think of the name i'll input it once i find what it is it's a very basic two piston shimano brake uh, works really well and it's just on the rear no front brake on this bike uh, just use the rear to modulate for manuals and stuff like that um, I'm running the Kona bars which I've had on my Haro which is a long time so if you have definitely remember that bike uh, that's awesome uh, so these are just um, 20 mil rise bars which I will be increasing as well uh, just to get a little bit more stance up top of the stem speaking of the stem it is a answer stem i don't really know the length i believe it's 50. um it definitely seems like a 50 to me and of course the odi road grips which is all i run a 9 by 100 axle fork so i am able to do a bolt on wheel which is really great and like i said the wheels are octane one front and rear so i have a matching wheel set which is great because it is already integrated with a single speed before i was using a conversion on the wheels that i actually had which were um azonics um, and I also have an Origin 8 chain tensioner to keep the chain uh, tight because this doesn't have sliding dropouts. So moving on to the middle. So again, this is a specialized hard rock rim edition from my understanding. So it's really just a hard tail pretty much, but with the Geo and the options that we have on it, we've kind of made it a budget dirt jumper. You find these frames pretty cheap. Moving on, we have a Fiend uh, seat with a, um, I think this is also a Fiend seat post as well um but yeah it's a pretty basic dj saddle seat i guess you really don't really need a saddle with the dirt jumper but it's, it's there moving down we have the sx cranks which are really the budget sram cranks and rock road pedals i actually am kind of a fan of these uh, rock road pedals actually um as you can see here the pins on them are really long which i like Unfortunately, my feet are really big and they're kind of small compared to what I'm used to. So I have an old set of Wawa's that I'm going to actually throw on these, like the ones on my GT, the purple ones. So I'm going to be doing that. It's got a Walmart single speed chain, believe it or not, which actually works really, really well with everything. And it seems to flow really good. Um, moving on a little closer to the back, we have the Maxxis DTH front and rear tan walls, which goes really well with this orange color. And I like that. Uh, I do eventually want to change the orange color to something different give the accents give it a little bit more color a little bit more pop um things like that the tires are actually really really good i like the maxis dth's they've really uh gripped this pavement here really well i haven't had it on the street just yet which is gonna come i definitely need to take it out and ride it on the street i'm just trying to get the fork situated first but here i'm not really i'm just riding it around pretty much um so um like i said the we have the octane one uh on the rear with octane one hub uh, and then we have just a basic Shimano six bolt rotor control in or with the with the Shimano rear brake. Um, other than that guys, yeah, this is pretty budget friendly. Um, I paid $250 for this and I can't really tell you the initial cost from that, but um, yeah, I've, I've done the grips. I'm the one who put the brake on it before I sold it and the bars as well. The guy I got it from John, if you're watching, thanks again, man. But John was able to do the wheel set and the seat and the seat post and replace the put together version that I had put on it when I sold it to him. Um, so yeah, again, thank you, Isaac. Thank you, John. I really appreciate it. This thing has been a lot of fun. Again, it's letting me kind of get my jump in manual and kind of ability. So I'm able to put that on. I haven't really ridden the GT since I, um, I believe I cracked the rib or had my really bad crash. Um, if you're watching this video then you should have already seen that and yeah that was a really bad crash i'm still actually really sore from it but 
being able to do this and kind of ability back has been great. So I am going to have more jumping videos of our trail jumping videos coming up. Um, I'm going to be getting out on in a couple weeks to ride with my buddy Andy again. This time we're not going to crash. We're going to go to a new park. Um, so I'm really excited to get some footage of that because it just opened not long ago. So I'm really excited to do that. Um, again, this fork is going to need some work, which I plan on letting you guys see. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you're watching this, this video coming up should be uh, the fork rebuild. So it should be pretty fun. I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Um, it's just a new air spring and seals and then pretty much that's going to be it. But yeah, this is the dirt jumper. So you guys are going to see this come up a little bit. And I plan on riding it, you know, especially at nights like this when I have a little bit of time after my, my kids go to sleep. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, I mean, feel free to ask. This is just a bike check on my specialized uh, Hard Rock Grim Edition, which is now my budget dirt jumper. So, yeah, we're going to definitely get some use out of it and enjoy it. Some videos with it, so stay tuned. And we'll catch you guys later. Get out there and have a good time, and we'll see you later.